video, we're going to show you how to make this darling flower block. And the pattern comes with different centers, uh, patterns to paper piece. And then you add these dimensional petals and it just comes out darling. Make all the petals by putting a Xerox of the petal on top of two pieces of fabric that are right side together. Thin polyester bottom batting. That is optional. If you don't want it as puffy, you don't have to put the batting. On the outside, solid line. Then cut on the outside dash line. Remove the paper. Turn it right side out and press it so that all of the rounded edges are well defined. And then we're just going to put a little dart. It's a quarter of an inch dart that's a half an inch long. And do that with all six petals. We'll show you what we're going to do with it. Now to begin the quilt, we take a Xerox of the block and we paper piece one through five. And if you're if you're not sure of paper piecing, look at some of our other videos. They're pretty clear. It's just a fun method. Then with this side up, we're going to machine baste right around here, this five-sided shape. Okay? And that will transfer it to this side. Now, of the center of the flower, now these smaller triangles are the ones that we want to start with for placing our... Now, we petals. were placing our petals and they're a quarter of an inch past the basting on one of these five sides. And you can machine baste it, just make sure the basting is above that the first basting so that it'll be in the seam. And you want the sides to not be uh, in the side lines. And then you're going to put a piece of background fabric right side down on top of that aligned with the edge so it's also a quarter of an inch past that basting. Then you turn it over and sew that whole line. Trim the extra out of the seam and then when it folds back all the raw edges of the petal are enclosing that here to our last petal to add. Look how cute this is coming out. Now it, it might be a little bit easier once you baste the petal that's in between two corners. Instead of pulling them out of the way that way, pull them all the way out of the way like this so that the seam for this last petal is exposed but these are well out of the way. And then we're going to put our background fabric right side down along that edge, turn it over and sew that whole line. And this is just going to turn out so Here's cute. Here's our little block finished. Now to cut it out, I added a quarter of an inch onto the uh, solid line and I had to pull all of the lit petals in so they wouldn't be in the way of cutting. And then they just come out just beautiful and I think you'll just enjoy this block. It's a dollar uh, for our block of the week on our website and we will give it to you down below. Thanks for watching.